Hey everyone, this is Mr. Mott. What I want to do is go over a really important topic in chemistry called counting by weighing, okay? So here's our idea. We've got this uh, jar of red hots, okay? And what we want to do is figure out how many red hots are in here without opening them up. So we're going to be using uh, our balance and, uh, and a little bit of uh, dimensional analysis to be able to figure this out, okay? So the first thing you want to know is that the mass of the empty jar is written on the top um, here on some tape. So it's 194.56. That's a mass that you would want to write down and that you would know. So 194.56 uh, 194 is the mass of the empty jar and cap. Okay. Then we want to weigh this. Okay. And a little hard to see here, um, but it says 347.56. So that's a mass that you want to write down, and that's the mass of your full jar. And what we're going to do is then subtract the mass of our empty jar, which again was 194.56. Okay. So what you're going to do with those two numbers, you're going to subtract them, and that's going to tell you the mass of all the red hots that are in this jar. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do uh, is try to figure out and come up with a method for understanding um, what each of these red hots weigh, okay? So um, what I'll show you is a little sampling of some red hots, and uh, what you and your partner in lab would want to try to figure out is, so here's some different red hots here, and what you would want to try to figure out is what would be the best way to determine how many red hots there are um, using our balance and our sample of red hots, okay? So um, a couple different methods are out there. One would be to find the mass of one red hot. So put my weigh boat on here, I'm gonna tear my balance. And I'm gonna weigh one red hot and we'll see what the balance tells us it weighs. And this could be a conversion factor that you that you could use, okay? So this particular red hot weighs 0.28 grams, or 0.28 or 0.29. If I use another red hot, okay, and tear our balance. It'll tear it for us, there we go. The first red hat I chose weighed 0.28 grams. The next one I chose was 0.41 grams. So clearly not all red hots weigh the same. So your best method would be to not just take the, um, the mass of one red hot because there's gonna be some individual differences there, but maybe multiple red hots. So if I took maybe five of our red hots, so I'm gonna add four to this, I'm gonna come up with another conversion factor, which is uh, for every five red hots, the mass is gonna be about 1.83 grams, okay? And that's gonna be a conversion factor that you can use, okay? So what we'll do next is we'll show you how you can use that conversion factor to figure out how many red hots are in that jar. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mott. What I wanna do is go over the data portion of our counting by weighing lab. Um, so to kind of review the data that we took, um, we had an empty jar mass of 194.56 grams. We had a full jar of red hots that weighed 347.56 grams. And so what we would want to do is subtract those to be able to get our mass of the red hots. And it came out to be 153 grams even. And so uh, the idea by counting by weighing is that when you have a large number of very, very small things, you can use mass to be able to count them out. And so uh, certainly we could count out how many red hots we had in the jar, but it would be very, very time consuming. It turns out we can be very, very accurate in our measurements uh, just by weighing. So, um, so then the next step was to figure out how much an individual red hot weighs. And the first of the data I collected, um, the first red hot weighed 0.28 grams. The second red hot weighed 0.41 grams. And what I began to see just by visually inspecting the other red hots was that all these red hots were gonna have different masses. So what I should do is try to find out what the average mass of a red hot was. So then 
I weighed out uh, more than one Red Hot. So I saw that five Red Hots have an average mass of 0.37 grams. Then I weighed out 10 Red Hots and came up with an average mass of 0.35. 15 Red Hots, average mass of 0.35, and 20 Red Hots, an average mass of 0.35. So this tells me the relationship between the, um, if I have a certain number of Red Hots, so in this case at least 10 Red Hots, when I take the average of them, um, that my average will be very consistent. So I can use uh, my Red Hots to mass ratio as a conversion factor to be able to figure out how many Red Hots I actually had. So, um, so I could actually approach this problem now in two different ways. I could say, um, in both cases, I'm going to start out with my mass of my Red Hots, 153 grams. And what I want to know is how many Red Hots were in the jar. So one thing I could do is I could set up, um, and I'm going to have grams here to cancel out, and Red Hots on the top. So one thing I could do is that I could grab one of my conversion factors. Let's say, for instance, um, for every 15 Red Hots, it has a mass of 5.19 grams. And so that's the relationship here. Um, um, or if I wanted to, I could use sort of my average. I could say for every 153 grams, Okay, so setting up the problem the same way, wanting to find out how many red hots I have, grams on the bottom and red hots on top. I could say for every run red hot, my average was 0.35 grams. In both cases, I should come up with the same answer. So on the top one, I'm taking 153 times 15 divided by 5.19 and rounding to the nearest whole number. I would get 442 and on the bottom equation 153 times 1 divided by 0 0.35 uh, I'm getting 437 so just slightly different for some reason that's kinda weird maybe it's a rounding issue but you can tell the difference between uh, these two values is very very minimal um, and I'm getting approximately the same value, certainly when you're talking about the difference between five Red, red Hots when there's almost 450 of them, that's a very, very, very small amount, very, very small difference. So we can see is that we can very accurately count, it, count um, very, very small things when you have a lot of them by weighing them. And that's an important concept in chemistry because we understand in chemistry that when you are dealing with uh, chemical reactions, they, ha they happen on the atomic and molecular level. Um, but since chemists can't measure out atoms, um, we have to understand that um, by weighing out uh, the mass of our chemicals, we can know how many atoms or molecules are present. Okay, thanks very much for watching.